Uy, kamusta na? Okay naman Samaan ako. Samahan mo naman ako, magpapacheck up ako. Nahulog ako kanina, ang sakit ng dito ako. ko. Nagte-tennis kami kanina, tapos nung hinabol ko yung bola, eh, nag-drop shot. Eh, nag-slide ako, so tumama Ay, yung ako. dito ko, sobrang sakit. Gusto ko sana makita kung may bali ba ako or wala. Baka may fracture na ako. Eh, hirapan akong, ah, ako. Itaas kasi yung kamay ko eh. Oh, Samahan mo naman ako, saan ba ako pwede magpakonsulta? Ang tanong, meron ka bang health card? Naku, aray, oo nga pala. Mas maganda kung may health card. Tama, mas makakatipid tayo, mas mura. Saka, ang alam ko maganda yung mga facilities nila. Paano kaya yan? Alam mo ba yung mga requirements na kailangan para kumuha ng health card? Oo naman. Yung mga requirements, may pagtatanungan tayo niyan. Itatanong natin kay Dr. Alvin. Hi, I'm Dr. Alvin. For this episode, I'm going to share something to you on how to procure or acquire a health card. Disclaimer, this video is, um, for this video, I'm going to share to you on how I was able to see or uh, determine rather, how I was able to determine the requirements in procuring a health card. Well, it start. It just started when I went to fetch my wife in her workplace, and it has been posted in their in one of their walls the requirements on how to get your own health card. Basically, there are two types. Number one is for the first time registration for the company, and of course for the first time registration for the family. So please stay tuned, relax, and see this video. Okay, so ayan na. Ang una muna natin i-discuss yung unang requirement for the first time registration for the company. So, what are the requirements for such? There are basically six requirements for the first time registration for the company. While I'm discussing it, at the same time, I'm going to place it here beside me so that you can remember it easily as we go through this, this video. So the first requirement is kailangan po ng staff accommodation electricity bill. That's number one. You also need the housing contract, a copy of the housing contract. The third requirement you need a company letter. Number four, you need a passport copy with resident permit. Of course, kailangan yung front page, no? Ng ating passport. And yung kopya ng ating resident permit na back-to-back. -back. Number five, you also need a passport size photo. White background and two pieces. And finally, the sixth requirement for the first time registration for the company is a photo for the house flat number. Ano po yung photo ng flat number natin? Yun po yung color blue na makikita mo sa labas ng mga pintuan ninyo. Yun yung merong nakalagay dyan yung flat number. Tapos dito sa upper left is yung floor. Tapos yung dalawa sa baba, sa left side, pag nakaharap ka sa kanya, yung building number, nakalagay yung street number, and nakalagay din kung anong zone ka nagbibilong. Ayan. So, yan po ang six requirements for the first time registration for the company. Alright. So, dumako naman tayo sa second part. What are the requirements for the first time registration for the family? 
ito malamang ang pinakimportante. Siguro, some of us, um, wala, hindi sila nakuna ng health card ng kanilang company. I don't know. Um, so, this would be of great help para sa inyo para magamit natin ang healthcare facility ng Qatar. Alright? So, what are the requirements for the first-time registration for the family? Basically, there are also six. So, the first requirement, again, I'm going to flash it beside me so that you can remember it. So, the first requirement is the housing electricity bill. Okay. There are some instances na um, hindi tayo yung nagpaparent ng flat, may ka-share tayo sa flat. Correct? So, kung ganon, ang mangyayari, the housing electricity bill, if the electricity is not under the tenant's name, it's not under your name, the Ministry of Municipality should stamp the housing contract. Napakalaga po niyan. Since hindi galing sa atin yung nakapangalan sa atin yung kontrata ng pabahay, kinakailangan may signature ang Ministry of Municipality or may stamp sila. Okay? So, number two, you also need a copy of the housing contract, a company letter, if it's, pos if, if it's provided by the company, no, yung housing ninyo, um, uh, passport and resident permit, the same with the, the previous requirement, passport size photo also, white background, and uh, photo for the house flat number. So the same. Kailangan nating picturean yung color blue, the color blue um, metallic plate just outside our doorsteps. No? Where the flat number is, the zone, the street number, um, the floor, and the building number is indicated. Alright? So this is just a short video. Para naman po sa ganun, makatulong ako sa inyo na tangkilikin natin ang sariling atin. Okay? So, until my next vlog, see you guys. Stay safe and God bless.